All right, and welcome back, everyone, to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts playing as the French. And, oh boy, let's get rolling. We are building the Dreadnoughts. We got... Uh, our, our, actually, we're building our, our semi-dreadnoughts. Our dreadnoughts are ready to build the Beauvais. Um, we're actually going to play around with the Beauvais a little bit because after, um, after seeing a design on the American campaign that the British made, I'm actually really interested in possibly trying to increase the number of guns on this thing, and you'll get to see that uh, when the time comes. Um, we'll probably keep that. Des uh, we'll, we'll probably reformat the design after we get our upgraded guns, um, which we do need to start working towards as well. But we're currently working on trying to get some boiler and engine upgrades. The guns are important, but the uh, the uh, the boilers and engines we definitely want to have at least a bit of an increase to those before we start going for Krupp one and then better guns as well. But yeah, we got. Uh, one more turn for these, 13 more turns for the, or 13 and 14, and we are getting prepped for war. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're getting there, boys. Now, the Austrians are going to be pretty easy. Um, if we go to war with them at the same time as the Spanish, we'll just set up a blockade in the Adriatic here, between Albania and southern Italy here. And we will completely stonewall the, the Austrians from being able to leave their ports. Um, in the case of the Spanish, of course, we, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, uh, army ground invasions in order to take this territory, uh, which will be supported by the Navy. Um, <clears throat> speaking of, what's our uh, army logistics? 44% versus the 16% of the Spanish. So we're doing quite good in that regard. Um, let's go ahead and keep... Uh, in, uh, increasing tension with the Spanish because we do want to get this war fired relatively soon. Um, and actually, uh, uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, apologies for that. By the way, guys, uh, for those who might be wondering how am I feeling, uh, I'm feeling a lot better. A few days of antihistamine had definitely helped uh real quick i actually want to uh uh google translate um mind you i have translate on my phone at by default because uh yeah um sir surveillant Surveillant. 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 It's probably a little off, but we will go with it. Surveillant. The Surveillant classes. Um, yeah, I should have done that in the last video. Um, but yeah, the Surveillants here, we will continue uh, building these two up. And then, of, of course, as I mentioned before, we will get the Bourbons. Uh, or the Bourbais. I, 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 I actually I had somebody correct me uh, in person actually, and it's Bourbais. Um, we will get the Bourbais building as soon as uh, these commission. Uh, so we'll get two of them queued up, and then we'll go from there. Uh, we're also building some extra ships, if I remember correctly. No, those are finished. Okay, awesome. Uh, looks like we're doing pretty good. Looks like we're doing pretty good. We have the ships going out to their other ports. Uh, we need you to go in the port de Prit. Or, or uh, uh, port de Pate, uh, Pertre, Pertre, Pertre. Oh, God. I really need to learn French. <laughs> I really do. Um, I actually plan on, uh, when I do have kids, uh, teaching them uh, uh, French because that basically covers most of Africa, English as well. Uh, Spanish, because that covers all of down here. Uh, Chinese, because obvious fucking reasons. Indian's going to be a little tougher, but, you know, we'll work towards it. Russian, because Russian covers, you know, not just Russia, but most of Central Asia as well. A lot of these countries speak Russian as a sec second language. Um, just, to kind of, just to kind of work on, you know, diversifying the family a little bit when it comes to languages. So, we are... 
Do, 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 do. 88. So we're doing good. We're doing good. Maybe we can get this to fire within the next turn or two. Just really just have some fun with the uh, with the Spaniards. All right, those are about to commission. Increase tension. Give us the war. We must have the war. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, damn it. Didn't get it. Of course. Just my luck. I want war and they don't give me war. I feel, I feel denied. I feel violent. Two on the harv. Let's just keep it going. Limit those. These guys are about to hit Fort Bayard. Which gives us some pretty decent guns. Oh, the Spanish are taking Laos. Oh, you glorious bastards. You're just you're just giving me free territory, I guess. <laughs> The Spanish want to give me their lands. They're... I am so grateful for the Spanish donations. Uh, no, you're not getting a Beauvais right now. <laughs> I do not have the dock space for that. Uh, speaking of, uh, okay, we're still building. Um, boop, 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 boop. Go ahead and put these on limited to curb the money output we're, we're, we're still still losing 20 20 million a turn which is honestly fine like honestly there's no there's there's no point in holding back whatsoever when that last war gave us so much money oh hi hi finland <laughs> The Grand Duchy of Finland has officially been released, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, fuck you, Spain. Just fight me, you freaking cowards. Oh my god, you freaking cowards. How dare you? How dare you reject my provocations? You know, you know what's coming. You know, it will be mine. Are they really fighting on? They're actually taking the Antilles right now. <laughs> They're actually taking, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Willemstad. <laughs> wow, Spain being aggressive this round. <laughs> okay. This this is actually the first time I think I have seen Spain actually taking territory. Like, they have Thailand, they have Laos, they're about to take Antilles, or Dutch Antilles. Uh, have they taken anywhere else? That would be the question. What the fuck? Who the fuck did you get free from? Who usually has this? Huh, interesting. Uh, but yeah, it looks like that's that's all they've taken so far. But hey, that's an improvement over the normal Spanish problems. <laughs> that's a that's a definite improvement. What's their uh, what's their stability? Okay, so they're actually doing pretty good because usually they'd be around like forty or fifty by now. So they're actually doing pretty decent. So, oh, please tell me I'm not going to have these battleships available for the next war. I just, I just, 
just want I just want to beat the crap out of the Spanish. I want to take Mallorca. Ah, there we go. <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we coming for that booty. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, it's glorious. All right, let's get the ships out onto the field. Uh, do, 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 do. Um... We have the extra ships here in La Havre. Let's go ahead and pull them around like so. Can we? Yes, we can. Nice. All right. Awesome. Uh, do we get the Volterras involved? Yeah, let's get the Volterras involved. All right. And then we'll leave this fleet here. This fleet here, those those will be our defense forces. And then let's go ahead and uh, we'll in turn then set the torpedo boats to defend so that they don't get stupid. Uh, let's crank that up just so we can keep getting that. And let us go. Ha 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 relish in death Spain I will I will provide you the sweet embrace uh, Costa Rica huh. <clears throat> well I did just move these battleships over here you know like a smart cookie Just, uh, I'm a strategic genius. My, my, my genius just surprises me every day. All right, let's go ahead and tell the Arquibus, all of you defend. Do not go out onto open water because I don't need you getting killed for no reason. You're just there. Oh, oh, that's glorious. Okay, so we're taking Bata via land invasion. That's good. We have the land border with Laos and Thailand, so hopefully we can get some uh, engagements there. Hopefully we can get some engagements here. We're going to take Mallorca. We're going to head down here. I think I, I think that's how we're going to play this. We're, we'll take Mallorca, and then we'll move down here, take Western Sahara and the Canaries, and then we'll move over here, take this, and then we'll go over here and take this. We'll just contain them to their mainland, and then take the core and just 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 have a great time uh the the french empire is about to fucking expand boys and it's gonna be a great freaking time all right um so i want to let this go to multiple expansion uh engine two at least before i stop so we're just gonna let that go and then boilers will just let it We'll just let them keep going until uh, until that happens. Can we start the naval invasion? Uh, uh, no, we cannot of Mallorca. So we want to. We have to wait until the other ships get into. Ah, uh, and and we start taking southern Spain. Ah, oh, God. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oh, I smell. Smell it, boys. Sweet, sweet money. <laughs> oh, man. Our economy is about to fucking explode once we absorb the entirety of the Spanish uh, holdings. Might I be a crackhead? Yes. 100%. There's no denying it. If I tried to deny it, I'd be a liar. Have I ever have I ever actually done crack? No. Um, unfortunately, we do not have the fleet tonnage in the Pacific to actually do anything with. So you know what? Actually, let's. We're just going to turn all of our cruisers to sea control. 
it's going to cost us a lot of money. Uh, oh, we're still in the green. We, we are still in the green, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so bots is being taken. Nothing's in initiated over here. Our forces have Mal uh, Malarca, the Balearic Isles, <laughs> completely surrounded. Like, you ain't getting off this island. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, Sombrero boy. You're, you're not getting off this island alive. Um, all right, and then uh, we still got a while before this stuff. <coughs> and then we have uh, just a few more months on the survey. My cat's being an asshole. <sighs> Because reasons. Honest, honestly speaking, I would just have the door open if my roommates weren't, or if my one roommate and our friend wasn't here. But because they're here, I do not want to disturb them, and I don't want them disturbing me. Okay, so we have. Eh, that that chance is fine. We'll we'll live with it. It's better than what we could have. Um, and then we are, <laughs> oh God, it's already 9%. We are going to pile drive the Spanish so goddamn hard. I, I think we'll collapse the country before we actually get to taking all their colonies. Oh boy. Okay. Well, eh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Because reason. Money. <laughs> and we're already blockading them. Oh my God. What? That's, that's dirty. Didn't expect to blockade them this early. We're losing a crap ton of transports because the rest, of, so their whole fleet is out and about in other places where we have colonies. Oh, and we're, now we're taking Thailand and we're taking Laos. Oh my God. We're, we're literally attacking everything at once. Holy shit. <laughs> we are conquering everything that they have. They don't get to keep a thing. <laughs> oh no, you poor Spanish bastards. You had everything going for you. You had everything. And and then the French arrived. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and they just took the Dutch Antilles. Oh, oh no, they failed. Okay. Uh, that that, that kind of makes me sad. I would have would have liked a little extra territory, but hey, you know it is it is what it is. We will uh, we will accept the concessions that they're making now for for the betterment of the empire, for the betterment of our people. We must have room to grow. I'm just gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave that like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the comment section just puckered a little bit, like. <sighs> like, wait a minute. He touched. He touched a no-no square there. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I'm only partially crazy. By the way. So, um, speaking of, uh, of, of everybody's favorite, uh, favorite stash to make fun of, um, so I actually, I actually completely forgot. Ooh, battle. Ooh, lots of things to kill. Come here. <laughs> um, but I actually, uh, I was, I was surfing YouTube the other day and I saw, uh, some clips for, uh, Grim, the TV show. A great little TV show, by the way. I absolutely adore it. Um, especially because, um, you know, there's um, there, there's some family lineage to the Grim brothers on my grandpa's side. So, yeah. Um, I believe they're, they're either first or second cousins. I forget. But yes, they're, they're, they're part of my bloodline. It's kind of cool. Um... Okay, uh, southwest. Okay, we're going this way. Uh, but the uh, the TV show, um, just just the way that they handled some of the stories, 
was really cool. But then uh, I had completely forgotten uh, when <laughs> when Rosaline goes like, or not Rosaline. Um, was it Rosaline? Crap, who was it? When they mention uh, Stashy McStash Stash, uh, having tried to uh, conquer the world before, um, just a, a really cool little uh, little tidbit. It's like, ooh, yeah, that's a cool idea. Now, mind you, I I I, I will have Stashy McStash Dash in my. I, I, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna fucking refer to him as from now on. Stashy McStash Dash. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have him in my book too. Um, a little, uh, flashback, uh, bit of the book going back to, uh, show... Oh, hello! <laughs> Enemy with en engagement range! Um, but having him, uh, appear in flashbacks of a particular character that happens to have fought against the Nazis, uh, in my story, um, which, uh... I hope I hope to have the majority of the book done by the by the end of next year. Um, right now I'm writing about a chapter, maybe two every week. Um, so, hopefully, you know, project will see the light of day within the next year, which is my plan at least. Yes, secondaries, go boys, go. Remember, boys, open your mouth and scream as loud as you possibly can. The artillery is going to... F TBIs for everybody. TBIs for everybody. <laughs> you get a TBI. <laughs> you get a TBI. Everybody gets a TBI. <laughs> All right, start, start, shooting the, uh, start shooting the cruisers. Let's... Uh, start killing some things or well okay we already killed a few things and we're killing more things and uh yeah it's a fun time the these these cruisers though uh with the with the expanded gun batteries on the uh center line are just just what oh my god just watching that the number of six inch tracers flying off of this thing is so good Ugh. You love to see it. Go, boys, go. Wrangle them in. Oh my god, that music, though. That was glorious. <laughs> you just ate it. <laughs> you just ate those shells. <laughs> like, hey, they missed us. They didn't miss them behind us. Uh, yes. Where have we seen, the, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna ask the, uh, the class, where have we seen this, this, uh, this event occur before? I'm, I'm curious. I, I, I don't, I, I can't quite put my finger on it. Um. Speaking of the Republica. <laughs> Republica. Republica. <laughs> <laughs> we remember what happened to that ship. <laughs> we remember well. Warhound started cackling like a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god. They're they're why why is it always the Spanish? Like I don't understand this. Why are, why is it always the Spanish? that suffer so badly when it comes to actually being able to put together an effective 
like formation. Like, why do they always bunch up like this? And and mind you, like I've like the French, the British, the um, the Americans, the Japanese. Like, it's always the Spanish and the Chinese. I've noticed that the the, the two AIs just kind of cluster together and just provide excellent targets. Like, it just makes no sense. And just, oh, look at the number of secondaries. Just... I'm sorry if that's really annoying for you guys. It's just, it's so amusing. Oh my god, it's just so good. And these, these poor... These poor cruisers, like, they don't have any fucking armor, I'm guessing. Yeah, they, they, they don't. They don't. They, yeah. They, they, uh, the light cruisers have some armor, like, funny enough. But the heavy cruisers don't have any armor at all. Oh, it's a bad day to be a Spaniard. That's all I gotta say. I, I think it's just a bad... I, I, I think it's a bad era to be a Spaniard, really. I think I think that's the, the better way to put it. It's like, no, you shouldn't... You do not want to be Spanish in the 1890s because, like, the Americans are gonna show up, the Span or the French are gonna show up, next the Germans are gonna show up. By the way, that I, I conquered Spain before I conquered... Uh, uh, France in my uh, Germany uh, playtest, and um, it actually helped conquering Spain so f or conquering France so hard. Um, <laughs> like it was actually quite funny. Like they couldn't sustain how many places they were getting attacked from, and since I had such a big army, it was unreal. The Principe Alfonso is cooking off like a goddamn barbecue. Oh, and <laughs> the Ed Editana is also cooking off like a barbecue. Jesus. Like, somebody get these boys out of chemistry class. They're, they're cooking off. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just, like, I can't wait to see the uh the new the new battleships in action just from the from the perspective of how good these look when the secondaries are just lighting it up and just the idea of all the uh all the secondary battery on the broadsides of the of the new ships uh it's gonna be so good all right let's finish them up boys so we can go so we can go home for the day Do, 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 do. Oh god, like like those six inch batteries just start smacking this thing. Like you can tell when the two inch batteries are hitting something with the six inch batteries and the four inch batteries, like you can just tell and it's just freaking hilarious because it's like, oh yeah, like you just got hit hard. Oh, that's fine. another Bunsen burner. Mm. Boom! Watch the turrets go bye-bye. Could you could you imagine, like honestly speaking, like you're you're standing on the deck of a ship and all of a sudden just one of the turrets just goes flying like that, like. Just imagine that. Like, you're just you're standing there, and all of a sudden, you know, the entire gunnery crew of one of these turrets just gets sent 
fucking kingdom come. Uh, it would be the most demoralizing thing. And, and I literally just sank everything for nothing. Like, that, that, god damn it. As I said, it's not a war crime the first time, but that's the second time. Uh, I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man oh no spain spain sweetheart you, you're no you're you're not getting out of this one it's it's over it's over hon like it's no just 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 look at the flowers Look at the flowers. All right, um, let's do a round. Uh, uh, let's round this up real quick. Uh, so we've got forty six percent here on Bata, so we'll take that here soon. Twenty four percent on Thailand, twenty six percent on Laos, so we'll be taking those relatively quickly. Um, we did not take uh, Costa Rica, but that's fine. Is what it is. We'll position the fleet out here in the water like so and just hold for right now um, just to provide the presence. And if the Spanish ships decide to engage us, then that works for us. And the Canary Islands are next for the Navy. And, uh, well, West, uh, southern Spain's falling, so this is going to be real fun. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And um, uh, don't tell the hag. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.